Good greetings. Rusty Dog here. Welcome to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. And it's odd to see me doing two streams, one after the other. But nevertheless, <coughs> we are here. Uh, I suppose it's a little bit weird landing landing in Denmark and taking off from Ray Gateway, but that's what we're going to be doing. So guys, we have a Python to build. I have the full specs uh, supplied by Kathina, so thank you for that. We took a look in an earlier video that I did uh, a couple of days ago about the build, but we'll quickly cover that again before we start. And we're going to take a look at the materials that we need and how much trading we can do at least to get some stuff out of the way and then see what's left and uh, go after those. Um, I think what's good to know is apart from two items which I'm having, three items, which I'm placing no importance on, but the three I, three, there's only three materials in the list of however many I need that I don't have any of, but two of those are grade one so that's going to be <coughs> very easy to get hold of. And another one of those is grade 4, which, yeah, we'll see when that one comes. So how, how big is the grind? Well, <coughs> it has to be noted that some of the stuff we're not going to be able to get to grade 5 because I don't have the engineers unlocked. Some stuff... We can work our way there if we if we push it. I wish I had my Mamba on this account, but I don't. Um, some engineers need me to be at a certain rank for the uh, in the uh, certain combat rank in order for me to unlock them. Um, so we're going to see what path we can take and how we can go through this. If we can only get up to grade 4 or grade 3 three or 4 on certain items, we're just going to have to stick with that until such time where we unlock things further on and go to grades 4, 5, whatever it may be. My current combat rank is novice. I need to get that up. I don't know how many it takes to get to competent, but I think I want to at least get to there. Um, so I'm just going to quickly look that up. <clears throat> so combat rankings let's have a look so novice oh competent is next okay cool yep so we've only got to do the rest of that so if we get into uh, some has reses and stuff like that and well maybe high reses at the moment and help take down some stuff Maybe if we get the Python up to a certain spec, we can go in and do some damage. I don't know. Um, yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't think we're going to have to grind for the Python Mark II. I think we're just going to have to buy it. But also, I think a lot of the stuff's going to be transferable from one ship to another. I don't see the slots being any different in class, really. Anyway, so there's plenty to get underway there. Uh, and we're going to start right here in Ray Gateway. So, <clears throat> who's on board today, guys? Gain damage. Hi, gain damage. Uh, welcome, welcome. Cosmic Drifter. Hi, Cosmic. Welcome. Andy K. Greetings, Andy. Mr. Commander Budman, one and only. 07, sir. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> and Casina, tweak the build to be able to fit a KWS on it if you want one. It might be good meantime, uh, but if you say that, you know, a mount doesn't affect combat rank and it's just the fact that if I kill dangerous and deadly ships. So it, does this mean if I kill a deadly cobra, it'll rank me up more than killing say, a novice python or an expert python. 
does it it doesn't matter the size of the ship as long as it's a high rank I can kill it because you know how sometimes you go into a hazres and you can be disappointed not to find big ships in there sometimes the smaller ones but if they're deadly <clears throat> anyway so let's take a look at what I need to do to make this build that's how it works okay fine I'm happy with that then. I think we can get up to competent. I don't know how long it'll take, but you know, we're on novice right now. It's not going to take that long. So let's switch over to display. Uh, give me a sec, guys. I just need to make some settings changes on Windows to do this switch over. There we go. All right. So, <clears throat> this is what we need. Everything you see in red are the materials that's required. Um, all the stuff we already have is here. So all the green stuff we already have. But this is what you need to build a multi-purpose Python that can handle itself if it needs to. That. That's a chunk. So, we're going to ignore the greens for the moment. Uh, I have to be careful when material trading that some of these greens don't turn red. So I'm going to be very very mindful of that when we're doing it. Uh, you'll also notice down here, not available. Beam laser efficient weapon. Uh, heat sink launcher, ammo capacity, life support, lightweight, power plant, low emissions. We, we can't either do these all the way to grade 5 or we just can't do them at all but I think we can do them but just not to grade 5 some maybe only to 3 um, we'll see or maybe some we can't get to 5 because we don't have the materials I don't know but we certainly need to unlock engineers for these um, but let's say power plant low emissions in order to get to grade 5 we need to unlock an engineer but if we want to do it to grade 3 we can go to a different engineer that we have unlocked unlocked so there's all there's that as well <clears throat> yeah I noticed the similarity with the mamba um, but yeah we're gonna do what we can so we are in Ray Gateway right now and Ray Gateway has an encoded material trader so if we look at stuff like the, this, the anomalous bulk scan is grade one. Uh, we have 90 classified data banks here, so we can really r get that one up by just doing that. So we'll take a look at some of the encoded stuff here that we have, and we'll try and material trade encoded, manufactured, and raw right now and see what we can do. We'll make some trades, and whatever's left, we might turn some of these reds green. In fact, I know we will. Uh, and then we'll have less reds and then we can work on those separately. Um, yeah. So I think that's the page I've got open, actually. Yep, I've got that page open on my browser, Andy. Thank you. All right, so as for the build itself, well, we built it here in Odyssey Material Helper in my other video. So it's all done here. She will be using the frameshift drive with Super Cruise Overcharge. We will have that on the ship. Um, and the jump range is going to be 22.4, I think, something along those lines. Uh, here. 22.45. There you go. I remembered it from last time. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the build. And I had it, it didn't work exporting it from Coriolis to here. I know Coriolis has the feature. It's not working for me to bring it to Materials Helper. It doesn't work. It, it may do it from to, to Shipyard. I don't. ED Shipyard, I don't know. But it doesn't work here. So I had to, we had to do all this manually. And uh, yeah, this is it. So we've even got a frame shift drive booster in here as well. An extra fuel tank. So she's, she is geared for the SCO, and we have heat sinks, 
and three shield boosters, multi cannons, beam lasers, incendiary, corrosive, the whole deal. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's multi purpose, but if she gets attacked for anything, she's going to carry 200 tons of cargo, uh, she's going to take care of herself. So, I'm going to get back to my wish list because that's what I want in front of me. You guys are going to get back to the game because that's what you need to have in front of you. And I think we get started on this build. So, encoded data. Uh, well, starport services. Into contacts. And we have Kenny Guthman here. Also got a tech broker as well. So one of the things that we want is down here. I don't know how I'm going to work through this actually, thinking about it. Because it would be nice if um, Odyssey Material Helper, when it put all the materials down, that it actually put a symbol on the right hand side to show encoded. I mean it does say in the data but still whether it shows it encoded, manufactured, or raw. So we need some decoded emission data. We have 14 of them, but we need 18 of them. Um, and the most we've got of something that we can trade with is atypical encryption archives. But it's yellow for some reason. Why is that? I think it's wanting us to do trades from four different items. Decoded emission data. Let's look for it. Because it is grade four, I believe. So it's here. We need to we need to gain four from here. So what are you telling me then? A hundred and we have a, a full bin of atypical encryption archives. Oh, but wait a moment. Hold on. 150 owned. 150? So that's a downgrade. Because the top bin only holds, holds 100, doesn't it? Okay. So we want that to this. Oh, right. So it's wanting me to do a trade. Or oh, Odyssey Material Helper is suggesting that I do a trade by... Oh, no, it's making four different suggestions. Right. If I... Okay, I've got, a, I've got 98 adaptive encryptors capture... And I only need to trade eight of those. So we'll do those, which is the next row up. So we'll cancel that and we'll do it with this, because I only need to trade four. There we go. But hold on. I only need four. Oh, yeah, okay, four. Sorry, I'm looking at eight. Yeah, I only need to trade eight of those. So let's do that. So that's turn green. That's gone off the list now. The next thing is anomalous bulk scan data, which should be down here, and it is. And the trait it is suggesting is classified scan data banks would be the best one. And we want... How many do we need? Six. There you go. <laughs> Let's do another one. Okay, that's anomalous bulk scan data. Gone off the list, guys. That's two gone. Um, the other thing is inconsistent shield soak analysis, which is level two here. And it's suggesting that we can give away... What's... Right, so there's four items we can give away. <coughs> two of. So two of one thing, two of another, two of another, two of another. We can choose. 
I'm going to go with the atypical encryption archives. So we give two of those, and we get six. Uh, we currently have six. We need... Where are you? We need eight. So we'll just do that. That's another thing off the list. They're going away fast, guys. I think this is encoded. Yep, untypical shield scans. We can trade... The best thing is going to be eccentric hyperspace. So untypical shield scans, level three. And the most I have of something is eccentric hyperspace. Ah, see, this is the thing. I have to trade 34 of them. Whereas if I trade adaptive encryptors capture, I only need to trade 12 of those. Where did we get so many adaptive encryptors capture from? Was that from doing Dab's Hope? Jesus. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to the uh, encryptors capture. And we have to trade 12 of those, unfortunately. That's going away fast, <coughs> but it's another thing off the list. Next thing is unexpected emission data. Mm, best thing to trade is data mined wake exceptions. Uh uh, I ain't trading those. Or adaptive encryptors capture. But guess what, guys? We have to trade a few of those. 14, I think. Let's just make sure I'm doing this right. Unexpected emission data. Where are you? What grade are you? Oh, it's grade three. No wonder. So, we have to give these away. And it's asking us to give 14 of them. Oh, no. I can see us doing some Dav's Hope to get some of this back. Jameson's? Um, let me have a look. Uh, adaptive encryptors. We don't need any for this build that I know of. But if we did, we certainly wouldn't need that many. We wouldn't need 64 of them. Yeah, I'll have a look. I don't have it here. Let's have a look. Um, adaptive encryptors capture. No, you guys are right. You guys are right. It is James and Crash Site. <coughs> Yeah, you can build those up quite quickly, though, can't you, from there? So, yeah. I don't want to, obviously, trade too many of the same thing. Um, I don't mind going out and getting, actu actually getting things. Um, now, there's more encoded, but in order to receive, like, like, six of something, I have to trade 12 of this, 12 of the other, 36 of these, and I'm just not willing to give up that many. So we have one called Aberrant Shield Pattern Analysis. I have 14, I need 20. And it says that you can get them from scanning combat ships or hacking megaship terminals. Now, it seems to me, hacking megaship terminals, the megaship's always going to be there, right? So the terminals are always going to be there. We can keep repeating that, I guess. Uh, but if, we, if we're looking for pirate ships and resource extraction sites, we could be there for hours and hours and hours. Um, and we only need six. So we only need, to, we only need to get two of them, really. But hacking megaship terminals? Do we need to do a mission for that, though? Right? Do we need to get... Yeah, you're right, Cosmic. Exactly. <clears throat> we don't need a mission to, to hack megaship terminals, do we? can just go over to a mega ship and do it. Yeah, I think we should give that a go, guys, and see. Um, we can do that in the Python. So let's see what encoded. That's raw materials. This is encoded, encoded. It seems to be put in them in order. Encoded, encoded. Okay. Manufactured, so what are you? Manufactured. Okay, so I've got three lines of manufactured. One line of 
encoded. So we've got cracked industrial firmware. Oh, Jesus. I've got nine of those. We need 48. Cracked industrial is not Dab's hope. For the manufactured stuff, Dab's hope will bring us a lot of stuff that we need on that one. So I don't mind doing laps around there. What am I close on? Modified consumer firmware. I need 60 of them. And we have 45. You know what's going to kill me with this Python build though? Is when we've built it. <coughs> we've been, we'll have been training just to get the amount of materials that we need to build it. And then when it's built, we'll have nothing left. <laughs> well, peanuts. There'll be there'll be just crumbs at the bottom of the bag at the bottom of the bag, basically. Uh, so this is gonna be an easy one. Modified consumer firmware is gonna be an easy one because we trade it with MEFs. So that's gonna be a piece of cake. I wish they were all like this one. So we get that, we go to MEF. And I think we're just going to need to trade one of them. Yep. And that's that one done. Right, I'm going to go through the other ones and see how many are just trading for. Irregular emission data, we can complete if we're willing to trade four more adaptive, adaptive captures. Are we willing to do that? I guess so. Because again, like you guys say, we go to Jameson... And we can, we can, s I didn't want to use a naughty word there, but we can hoover that place up. Um, so let's, let's get that irregular emission data. And we're going to trade the adaptive captures. And it's telling me that for the amount that we need, I need to trade four, I think it was. Huh? Go back. You're confusing me now. I need to receive 18, basically. There. Oh, I see. It's going up at two at a time because you can't have 4.5. There we go. Right, that's another one off the list. Cracked industrial. We need a lot of those, so I'm not trading for them. Abnormal compact emission data. This is a problem. We don't have any of them. And I'm not prepared to give them up because we can trade for them, but it means giving up all of the 60 of these. All of them. No, I won't. And the other one, aberrant shield pattern analysis, it's again, it's asking me to give up 12 adaptive encryptors captures. But if you think about it, if you think about it, giving up 12 is only like finding four of them at the Jameson crash site, isn't it? Right? If we find four, we get three, three each time. Well, that's 12. So we can make that 12 back really easy. So we need to receive six of these. Uh, yep. So let's do it. Now, I suggest that we go back to Jameson and replenish some of these. We don't have to do it today. I might. But we can so if what happens if actually it doesn't I don't think no why is abnormal compact emission data oh I see it's ten that we need we can't trade for those anymore. Right, so abnormal compact emission data is scanning combat ships, pirate ones, scanning of... 
Rusty thanks you <laughs> for your kind donation. Oh, Zonta! Hello. Hey, Zonta. What a way to make an entry. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Tee -hee. Thank you, Zonta. And welcome, if you're listening. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought I was showing you guys the wrong screen there, but I'm not. So yeah, we need abnormal mm, compact emission data, which is four. Where are you? Is it four? It is. It's five. It's five. So we need we need ten of these. But it wants me to trade. Well, I can't. I can't trade. I've got nothing to trade with now. So, scanning pirate ships in res sites. Well, that's okay. We can do a bit of combat in there as well. Scanning authority ships, military ships in conflict zones. Scanning authority ships. And then it says military ships in conflict zones. They c and also data beacons found in encoded emissions. In what kind of states, though? <clears throat> it doesn't stay here. You know, whether it, we have to go into a certain state. I wonder if ED Engineer might help out there. You know, and say whether it needs to be maybe a famine system or a bit, it might just be general. So what we're looking at now, guys, what we've done is... I need to get it on the screen for you. There we go. <clears throat> so this is what remains. We've only done encoded. We haven't done manufactured yet. So we need to go to a manufactured trader and do the same thing. As you can see, we've got some healthy healthy ones here in green. So, yeah, we'll do that. Let's whiz over to um, the nearest manufactured one to us, which is 21.8. Light years away. Let's just get that in the thing. Yeah, we'll do. If we can get the if we can get the weapons engineered to a at least to a degree, then we can do some combat and be a bit comfortable about it. And then that's gonna we'll just scan every pirate ship, every wanted ship uh, in there as well. And uh, yeah. We'll just try and pick up data as we go. They're gonna make, yeah, the worst thing about doing a ship build though is not just the grind, it's when you've built the ship and you have it and it's done and it's finished and nice and polished, is that all those materials are gone. And it's like, no, I've got to start all over again. And like, if you want to do another build of another ship, well, you're starting from scratch basically and you can forget material trading. Can I spin this around in between me hitting the boost and leaving the thing? Ooh. Yeah. It's you're basically f farming and building and farming and building. Scooping and jumping, scooping and jumping, farming and building, farming and building. Welcome to the world of Elite Dangerous. Farming and building. <laughs> grinding. Grinding and grinding and grinding. Well, there should be a song. The, the, the Elite Dangerous grinding rap or something. Hey Kai. Pre-weekly tick day, yeah. Well, tomorrow it will be, I think, Thursday. Car's got to go for a checkup tomorrow morning. Got to go up on the ramp 
and find out why I'm getting a very loud shuddering noise when I accelerate hard. Well, don't accelerate hard. <laughs> oh, please don't be expensive. It, I think it can be one of two things. If it's the third thing, oh my god, I'm going to bury my head in the sand. One of three things then, but if it's one of two things that I'm hoping it is, it's not going to be too much of a big deal. So, yeah. But if it's the other thing, please, please don't let it be that. But I want to get it sorted. I don't want that noise under the car. It'd just be a, a bearing or a flex joint that's worn out, I think. If it's my differential bushes, yeah. I, I don't fancy that one. But okay, uh, where are we going? Are we here? Yeah, we've made it. <laughs> we come here for the... I'm trying to think, what did they come here for? But yeah, it's because we're going to uh, Lena Lenayan. Linnaean Orbital. <laughs> it's kind of weird. In my in my last stream, I just did the flight sim one this afternoon. Somebody's. Uh, I've heard people mention about my voice before. I personally don't get it. I don't see what you guys are talking about. But there you go. It's probably because I've had to put up with myself for so long. And I got a subscription based just on my voice. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. But uh, I suppose my voice is part of the content. So, yeah. And that I should do a podcast. Maybe I should do a podcast. I'll consider it. No, no gameplay, at least no planned gameplay. See if we can do an Elite Dangerous podcast better than... Frontier. <coughs> really? <laughs> oh, I sounded like somebody else. You can, can you say? Brian, 26 months, look at that. Jeez, that's, yeah, two years, two months. Hi, Brian. Nice to have had you for a member for 26 months, man. I appreciate that. And good evening, sir. Thank you so much, man, for your continued support. You guys have just, honestly, this month, this month, uh, you know, Google Google tells you the figures every month. You guys just knocked it out of the park. Honestly. You, incredible. I have managed to purchase something that I've been wanting for quite a while. It's coming tomorrow, so I'll reveal it tomorrow. Um, but again, Without you guys, I couldn't do it. I, I wouldn't be able to. I'd still be on my old computer with my with my Intel chip and my uh, whatever graphics card I had if it wasn't for you guys. The support I get is just freaking beyond. So I guess I'd better look after my voice, eh? <laughs> it's cosmic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I didn't realize I had a snow runner voice. Oh, you mentioned that before, Kathina. Yeah. I don't know. When I was younger, in my... What would I be? I would have to have been maybe... Early 20s. People told me, on more than one occasion, I looked like... Matthew Broderick from from like when you see him in war games the t-shirt tucked in and the, the shirt on the outside tucked out sleeves rolled up the look the hair everything so if you look at Matthew Broderick from war games people told me I look like that and I have to say when I looked at it I thought yeah maybe I kind of do not anymore <laughs> times change Right, let's get some manufactured stuff here. Request approved. Set down a landing pad 
right, Slinky, let's get you in here. How much of the build do we have on the ship, by the way? Module-wise? I don't know. I don't think we've got the... Like, the, the build that we have, I don't think we've got the modules on the ship yet. In fact, we, we can't have, because I've only, since Kathina provided the build, I haven't really um, <clears throat> added anything to it. But, Kathina, you've not seen enough of me. How do you know? You, you, have you seen pictures of me from back, back in the day? I don't think so. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're oh Kai, you're a pro voice actor. Oh, cool. Voice acting must be so cool, though. I want you to narrate my life. That's a very nice thing, isn't it? Hey, Steve, San Francisco. How's the streets, man? A luxurious mane of hair. Yeah, well, that went. Now my shampoo is shoulders. Right, so. We're here to talk to another material broker. And wouldn't it be cool if we could get out of the ship and talk to them like we do engineers? Uh, right, so we need to go. Oops, no we don't. Click the wrong thing. Wilbert Farrell. Okay. This is what we have. So, manufactured stuff and things and stuff. <coughs> yeah. It's cloudy. Great day for coffee and elite. Indeed. Why not? Why not indeed? Yep. Coffee and elite. I'm having a cup of tea at the moment. It's starting to get a bit cooler. Which I don't like, so I need to drink it, because this tea only tastes good when it's hot, not lukewarm. Poor Luke. Right, so we have... No complete trades can be made on biotech conductors. Well, okay, I'm not freaking out about that one. We need to get 12 biotechs, and we know how to do that, don't we, guys? What was it we were doing to get five? Every time? Oh, yeah. Those. Scanning the, the the data points at ground bases. Okay, we can get... We can get... Uh, eight. No, we need 18. We've got 12. We need 18, so let's call it 20. We get 5 max, so... Yeah, four, 4 missions completed, rewarding 5 biotechs each. Then we'll have the exact amount <coughs> that EDMH asks for. Doesn't mean we're going to use all of them, because it depends how many roles there are. But biotech's generally used for grade 5 stuff. Uh, you know, the final grade. So, compact composites is the first thing we need. Five of them. And they are level 1. And we don't have any. So, its suggestion for compact composites is I can trade... Oh, it's a high-density composite. It's a no-brainer. got 170. So I only need to trade one, but I'm going to trade three. Let's do five. I only need five, but if I give myself 45, um, I'm happy. Configurable components... We can do that. It is grade four. I'm not giving away pharmaceutical isolators. You can screw that for a game of soldiers. Even though I do own 84 of them. Wow, we got that many? Yeah, but we did trick it, didn't we? But we do own 100 military-grade alloys. Uh, we, we only have to give six up of those. So, configurable components... Grade 4. Where are you? Probably up here. So if we trade these, how many do we need? My mouse is off to the side there as I'm on my other screen. 
We need to receive three by trading six. There you go. Have another one. All right, so we did that. So that's another one off the list. Cracked. Uh, what? What else? Okay, conductive ceramics. We can do that because we're near the end of those. So conductive ceramics is a three. We have twenty. We need twenty-five. And we can do that by trading for two conductive polymers. It's suggesting this rather than trading biotechs. Biotechs are mission rewards. We can get them if you're allied somewhere. You can pick them up five at a time if you get the right missions. All right. Oh, how's this one going to be? Electrochemical arrays. Now we can trade for those, right? But here's the thing. I can either give up four military supercapacitors for them. I only have 12. Or I can give up 10 polymer capacitors. And I have 51 of them. However. I'm not sure this is the case in this instance. But I know for a fact that electrochemical arrays are picked up quite easily from Dab's Hope. But what if the item I'm trading with isn't easily uh, as easily available or cannot be got from Dab's Hope either? Then I'm making a worse trade. So for the elect electrochemical arrays, I need 58 of them. I have 28, so I've got to pick up 30. So that means 10. I know it's confusing to a newbie, isn't it? I've got to pick up 10 electrochemical arrays at Dab's Hope. I think I can do that. So I'm going to Dab's Hope it for that one. This one's going to be a killer. Exquisite focus crystals. We need 30, we have 3. They do come by way of uh, mission rewards, but also, it doesn't. although it doesn't say it here, you can get them from ships that drop them in res sites, anacondas and the like. So let's skip that one for now, exquisite. So grid resistors, well grid resistors is going to be a piece of cake because it's only grade one. I will get back onto the chart in just a moment guys. And for that we can trade one polymer capacitor. We have 51, we'll have 50 left. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, righty. Heat conduction wiring. Again, uh, we can trade one heat exchanger or one heat dispersion plate. I'm going with the dispersion plate. So heat conduction wiring, where are you? And well, I'm going for the dispersion plate. I've got 66 of those. I'm going to trade six. So I'm going to end up with 60 of those and 45 of those. That's plenty. All right. Mechanical scrap. Well, that's going to be the easiest one ever. Firstly, mechanical scrap is really easy to come by. Secondly, I only need one. I'm going to trade a configurable component because I only need one of those. Okay, that's that one. Next. So, we need two protos, guys. Proto light alloys and proto heat radiators. Those are readily available in high grade emissions, in high population independence and alliance sites, but also federation uh, that are in a state of boom. So if we go to a boom state, we can farm those things until we are sick to the back teeth of them. So the only other thing I want to do here, guys, is salvaged alloys and we need 10 and we can do that by trading galvanized alloys um, so I'm going to need eight there's three six nine and I'm going to trade nine of them there we go 
So now, in case you're wondering, hey Commander KSY, welcome. <clears throat> That's what we have left. But I haven't been to the raw materials yet. So this top line, germanium, phosphorus and tungsten, we can maybe get rid of some or all of those. Tungsten we can get rid of for sure. Phosphorus and germanium, grade one and two. Germanium, how's that looking? Yep, we'll get rid of these three and that's all we have left is these three rows. That's it. We're done. So if we go up to here, to the materials section, we'll see the nearest raw trader from where we are now is Wolf1241, which is 24 light years away. Let's go there. Isn't this cool? Imagine if we didn't have the material traders. This is the best thing that Frontier ever introduced into the game that reduced the grind by a significant level. Landing coupler disengaged. You're clear to leave. Yeah, I mean, if I if I re wish listed the ship um, using grade three only or grade four only, I I probably could probably build it by now. I don't know. What I should have done on the wish list, instead of doing grades 1 to 5, I should have done grades 1 to 4 and then added the 5 on separately. And then I could have removed it and added it at will, if that makes sense. So I think we definitely need to go to, we don't need to go to Jameson's, only for refilling the, the stuff. Oh, we need to. Yeah, no route set. I don't know where it thinks it's going. Yeah, um, <clears throat> unless some of the materials that we still need are available on J Jameson's crash site. I mean, the only encoded ones I've got left to get is abnormal compact emission data, which I have none of, and cracked industrial firmware. That's it. I, I need, there's the, the only two encoded that I need to build this ship now. <clears throat> cracked industrial does come as a mission reward as well. Um, but Jesus, I'm, have you guys ever seen a mission that offers five, five SIFs? Not me. Crash site can replenish some of the stuff that we did, but I think what we can do, craft you can trade from MEFs. Okay, so, all right. So if we did MEFs, we've only got 12 of those. Mission reward, scanning megaship terminals. I think we should scan a lot of megaship terminals, guys. Do the megaships just have one per ship? I actually can't remember if we fitted the SCO on this yet. I guess I'm going to find out right now. We don't. Let's leave it as it is, I think, for now. Because for now I need the jump range. 
I put the SCO on, I'm going to lose the jump range that I need for all my grinding. So the SCO will go on at the end. That's right, Kai, so it does reduce things. But if I can find a good way to get maps... Modified consumer firmware, I think we can pick up... Um, Wait a minute, though. Is MEFS one of the things you can get from Dab's Hope data point? You know, the, the, the data point at the beginning. I know you can get modified consumer from there. And specialized legacy firmware as well, I think. But MEFS, can you get that from Dab's... Uh, thing tower tube data beacon thing i can't remember uh consumer is grade two so basically on that shelf you have grade one is specialized legacy firmware grade two is modified consumer firmware grade three is cracked industrial grade four is security firmware patch and grade five is mef mefs is a very good mission award you can get five of those quite easily, like very similar to the biotech conductors. But I wonder if there's certain types of uh, systems you can go to or stations that are run by actions in certain states that would then offer biotechs and MEFs more frequently than others. Like, if you look at those missions that we were doing on the last stream, where it was basically going on to uh, dropping the power, remember, of, of the ground settlement with the SRV and that kind of stuff. I don't know where I'm going here, guys. Um, we were able to get five biotech conductors didn't we get like 18 of them or something? Quite quickly. If we do some more of those, dropping the power, evading the skimmers and ships and stuff, if we can do those, we can get biotechs. Which was the easiest one that we did? There was one about killing the emplacements, the power emplacements. And what was the other one? Scanning the beacon and getting the hell out. Wasn't there ones that it was that was nobody there? We just went down and scanned them. If if one of them offered five of something and the other one offered biotechs a lot. Yes, but it's not on the same shelf. You know, we'd have to side trade. But what I'm after is cracked industrial firmware. If it could tell me what to trade for those, based on what I... Not, not the fact that I can't do it now, but based on what I could have. Then I can work on something else that might be easier to get. So I'll take a look at those in a second. So anyway, yeah, let's do it. Cracked industrial firmware. I can receive... Okay, I can already do it. I... Okay, give me a chance to land, guys, because if I focus on my left-hand screen, I can't fly the ship. So, if you give me a chance to do this, I'll show you exactly what I need to trade. Because there might be around this. I don't mind, it, you know, trading, but if I'm going to trade something off to get the cracked industrials, then I want to... Instead of grinding for the cracked industrials, I want to go and get the things that I had to trade. If they're easier to get, you know what I mean? So I want to replenish. Like, for right now, I traded off a lot of adaptive encrypted capture, right? I traded a lot of those just now. So what I want to do is go to Jameson Crash Site and replenish those back now. Rather, You know, in other words, yeah, I still have to grind 
But I'm not grinding for the materials I, I was after. I'm grinding for the material I traded for because it's easier to come by. And that way, when I do come to do another ship, I'll have replenished some of the stock. Is that making any sense? Yeah. It may be a case of adding time onto something I don't need to do right now. Uh, but if I go to the crash site, it's like Dab's Hope. You're picking up multiple different materials at the same time. Which is a good thing. So let me show you here, guys, what, what, what we're looking at here for the uh, thing. For the SIFs. So for SIFs, you can see here, <clears throat> I can receive 45 SIFs by trading five MEFs. Now, if I take one mission with that rewards five MEFs, I'm covered. So that's one mission to recover that. I think that's worth it, isn't it? Because look how many I'm receiving. 45. I think we need to get back to Dia Guandri after this and make that trade happen. Because five MEFs, I could do that in a mission. A single mission. They do actually, Kathina, yeah. And they, they make... No, I was, <laughs> I was going to say something there, but it, it sounded dirty and it didn't even make sense. So, no point. But it was something to do with squirting, so we'll just leave it there and forget that. Uh, right, so... Let's get these raw materials out the way. And then we'll nip back to Dear Guandry and sort that cracked industrial out. And then we'll see what we're facing. Uh, I'm actually surprised that we've managed to um, take off so many things from the list of required materials. We had quite a few there that we needed. Anyway, from here we need germanium, which is what happens when you become German, I guess. Right, you are germanium. Right, so we need this and the best trade we can do on this one is tellurium. We only have to give three, we've got 124. Let's give four and that will give us 120 tellurium which is cool. That's brain tree stuff, we did all of that, remember? The polonium. Remember all the stuff we did on the brain trees? Look, all these are full, right? Now it's gonna pay off. Because now it means anything we want below here, we can do it. And to refill these back up, just spend an hour or so at the brain trees, and, well, <laughs> each one, I mean, an hour for each one. And you fill these all back up again. So the brain trees, man, were a godsend to do those. So now we need tungsten. Uh, we only need one of these. But if we trade for tellurium... We're going to get three. Let's do five. And that gives us plenty of tungsten. Finally, we need seven phosphorus, which is grade one. We have ten. We need seventeen. And we can trade molybdenum or technetium. I'm going for technetium because it's a brain tree thing. And I'm going to give five. Am I? Yeah, because I keep needing phosphorus. Look at that now, <laughs> 145 of the bastards, and 145 technetiums. Oh, buddy. Uh, a typical, okay. Well, let's have a look. I need abnormal compact emission data, which I don't think you can get that. Adaptive encrypt, but if you can trade down for it, oh, let's have a look. So if I go, if I get rid of the modified stuff, okay, so what do I need? Well, abnormal compact emission data, that's grade five. So 
it really wouldn't matter what's on the same shelf as it. Trading upwards is is where you lose out big time. Massive. So don't want to do that. Core dynamic composites we need. Again, if we drop into the correct high grade, then we only need to find two of them and we're done. High grade emissions. It says here high grade emissions with high population federation systems in a state of none. Eh, I don't know, but we'll try it. Electrochemical arrays, dabs hope. Exquisite focus crystals. I know you can get refined focus crystals at Dab's Hope, but I'm not sure about Exquisite. Mm. Proprietary composites. Yeah, we can get those in high grades as well. So the next thing to tackle, I think, would be the high grade sites. And we can pick up some stuff in there. <laughs> I can just were you giggling like a schoolgirl or was it more like an evil an evil laugh right so okay dear like, you know one of those um, you're mine now kind of things right let's Get one jump back to Dear Gwandry and we'll trade those sifts so we don't need them anymore. That was a bit early on the jump there, Rusty. Yeah, your fault. Evil schoolgirl. Hmm. I approve. <laughs> and I think we all uniformly approve. <laughs> Fire zone. We hope you have a safe journey. Yes, Santa. Uh, for which? What's that for, though? Oh, cracked industrial firmware. Anywhere on the planet's small settlements. Extraction. But which settlements, though? No, the cracked industrial. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna trade them. I'm gonna trade them. We can cross that off the list. So this will be our last material trader stop, back at Dear Gwandry, because I've changed my mind, and we're gonna trade those sips. because it's only giving away five mefs, and all I need is to just do a mission that rewards it, and we're done. Yeah, do you know what is the, a great ship to build would be, doesn't matter what ship it is, at your discretion, but a ship that can one-shot kill, right, the, the most highest rated ship. So, for example, you know, you might be able to get a, a python that could one-shot kill something like a dropship, or maybe not a dropship, but let's say an Asp Explorer or something. But it can't do a dropship. But if you did it with a Cutter or an Anaconda or something, or a Corvette, you might be able to one-shot kill. So it's a ship that can one-shot kill the highest type of ship. What would that be? You couldn't use multi-cannons then, could you? You'd have to use, like, rail guns or something. <coughs> Oh right, cool. Is there anything, is there any build possible where a ship can one-shot kill something bigger than an ASP? And wouldn't it depend on the ASP's ranking and stuff? Yeah, Python Mark II. It'll be interesting to see. I 
I know that the other, th the other three new ships coming into the game are all going to be the same thing. They're going to be variations on the on current ships. So we may we may get a Cobra Mark V. I don't know, or a, I don't know what it could be. It might be something probably boring like a dropship Mark II. Or I think if they're going to bring three in, they should do one of each. Like so, there should be a, a combat ship that's a Mark II. A ship like a passenger ship, like a Beluga Mark II. Or something like that. And then an Explorer, Asp Explorer Mark II. For more jump range and all that stuff. Just improving on the original. But we don't really get improvements too much, do we? Because if, if the Python 2 can jump better and have an extra hard point, it's going to lose in another area. It's the way the game is made. <laughs> that sounds like a fun build though, Kathina. It really does. Drop a heatsink first and then wham! Stick some pre-engineered heatsinks. Yeah, you can get pre-engineered ones now, by the way, which is better, right? You know those heat sinks that are premium ammo? That's one of the ones that I can't get yet. It says not available. But I could en I could grind for the materials to get the pre-engineered one that gives you even one more than that. So I think for the heat sink launcher, we'll go for a pre-engineered heat sink launcher rather than get one from an engineer. I think we'll do that one. Yeah. Because isn't it, isn't it, uh, let's have a look. If you up the ammo capacity, don't you get, is it one and four or something? And then, oh, is the standard heatsink one and two? I can't remember. One with, one loaded and two two in the barrel, whatever. One in the barrel, what two two in the mag, whatever. Then you've got the engineered one, which gives you three instead of two, and then you've got the pre-engineered one, which gives you four. Hey, wow, that's a nice font, man. Red red Narok. How did you how did you do that? How did you get how did you get that font like that in on the YouTube chat? Normal is twice the weight with three. So it's, what's, it's pre-engineered four, uh, but it doesn't have the weight issue. Yeah, got to go pre-engineered. I wonder if it's available here. Probably not. I think this is Guardian. It's not human. I've seen people with weird fonts in the uh, thing, but I just don't know how it's done. Anyway, so... Where are you, cracked? And we're going to trade MEFs for it. Five. And then we can take a mission that rewards five modified embedded firmwares. That's a risk, but it's done. And uh, no. Sorry, I'm doing a UFC referee there. UFC, no, not referee, what do you call them? Master of Ceremonies, is that what they're called? The undisputed, undefeated. Anyway, that's what we have left. Right, missions we will take. Biotech conductors and and MEFs as well, because we'll probably find those. We'll take some for MEFs as well, just to rebuild uh, the amount that we have on those. I think the tricky one's going to be the abnormal compact emission data. 
data beacons found in encoded emissions. If we just f flip around going to these encoded emissions, they pop into a, a certain place, like let's say the high grade ones, like these in a state of boom. It could be that while we're waiting for high grades to populate, we can pop into the encoded ones and maybe, maybe, maybe we'll pick up, maybe. So this is what's left. So if you look at the full picture, that's what we have for the for the com for the Python build already. And looking at that fills me with dread at how many materials I am gonna give up to build this ship. So I really want it to be good. Just hack installations. When you say installations, Keithina, which ones are you meaning? I just want to be 100% sure. I wouldn't mind popping over to a mega ship now and just scanning a few uh, mega ships just to see, what do you call them? Hacking, hacking, what, where is it? Have we got any of those left that we need? We've got a Dab's Hope here for this one, Electrochemicals. That'll be great doing Dab's Hope, especially if you just want one thing, because as you're lapping around, you're picking up so much other good stuff as well. A Recon Limpet. Uncle Bob's greenhouse. Uh, you, you, my brain scrambled. Are we talking about on planet surface installations or in space? What nodes? I'm lost. Okay, Fiona, I am lost. Yeah, you can, Zontaras, you can, but I don't know how many of those I've got. What are we saying? Electric. Yeah, I've only got 12 of those. So that's why I didn't want to trade them. And I didn't want to give up 10 polymer capacitors either. Although they're freely available when you kill ships. If we can go to Dab's Hope though, um, hold on. Yeah, you see polymer capacitors and electrochemicals are, are available at Dab's Hope, both of these. you get installations like the Elvis. So if I go to Elvis's space bar or whatever, in Liz Ryder's system, we can do that. All right, let's check it out. And then I need recon limpets then for that, you're saying? Well, I think we're gonna have space on the Python for that because We haven't got it fully built yet. Let's take a look at the current build. Now I won't be going anywhere near any Thargoid territory, I don't think. I've got no defences for it. Hopefully I wouldn't need them, but we'll see. I've got so many things on right now. Okay, so... Uh, OK, 
Okay, so we've got 64, so we can get limpets in there. Okay, let's screw that then. Are we sure that 30 FPS is needed for the SCO? What happens if you... Has anyone tried just disabling the distributor? Has anyone tried just doing that on its own and seeing if it still works? Hey, Red Narok, thanks for you. Thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. We haven't even got our... We've got no weapons on this thing yet, guys. Let's put this on one. Oh, it does still do that. You bucker. I don't even have any weapons on this ship yet. We can at least fit fit what we're gonna have. Um, so we want three large multis and two beam lasers, gimbaled. I was thinking, Casey, they're about fixed. What do you think? Would that create more damage? Is it worth going fixed or just sticking with gimbaled? Too much focus. What, m for me to focus or? <laughs> right, multis. We're looking at threes. That's these ones, right? So they won't be engineered yet, but at least they'll be on. I wonder which ones we can engineer and which ones we can't. Good question, Rusty. Does Material Helper tell you that? Yeah, it does. You know, I had a few people telling me that they rather enjoyed the little video I did about the Material Helper ship build. Did you see that, Kathina? Building the Python in it? Um, because I only asked because it was your build. Um, yeah, people were saying that it was very useful um, and it taught them some things about the thing. And I was just thinking if I should do more videos on Material Helper to show the other things that it does and the information it provides and stuff like that. I thought it might be helpful. Right, so this will be the loadout. Obviously, it's going to be engineered up, up the wazoo. Uh, if we can get the boosters on it right now then as well. So we need this. And then the last slot, we're going to be putting in um, a heat, the, the pre-engineered heat sink is what I'm going to go for. Wait a minute, why have we got bees in here? Is this wrong? Hold on. Did I get that wrong? Don't we need A's? Because where would we put the heaviest stuff? I have to refer back to your build now. Oh. Oh, it's not wrong? Okay. So we... Okay. Good, good, good. I must have got it right then. And in here, it will be a heat sink, but I'm not going to put it in yet because A, we're not going to need it because we don't have the SCO on board. So 
so we'll leave that for now. So it's only going to be partially built. Uh, the only thing we do have already done is we have a pre-engineered FSD on here, which is why we're jumping so far. That's going to be downgraded quite a bit. And then we have the thrusters, which are already done with dirties and drags. All right. Sensors also, which is, I th hope, correct. Uh, the build says long range. And this one is... Dun, dun, dun. Lightweight. Grade 3. I can change it out. It's only grade 3. Uh, I could store this and then just put another one on. So yeah, we'll we'll get an, a new one for that. Um, we are in Diagwandri, so if I'm ever going to store it, it might as well be here. Yeah. Oh, I need D-class. Okay. Anything else that's wrong up here? Power distributor A. Thrusters A. Power plant A. A? So let's store this. Now we're going to replace it with sensors. Six Ds. And they're going to be engineered for long range. So the other stuff, I'm not going to bother with at the moment. We've got the bioweaves on, that needs engineering. We've got a fuel scoop on. We probably have to move some stuff around. Like, uh... Hmm. Wait a minute. Right, so there's not going to be a scoop on this, on this build, but I want it on here for now. Okay. Right, let's go to Elvis. I don't know how many limpets we're going to need, so I'll just stick. I don't know, I'll just put 20 on it or something. Now, the next thing is Liz Ryder. Where are you? I don't have her unlocked, but I think it'll tell me where she is. And yes. Lizzie, talk to me. Eurybia. I didn't see your message, Kathy, and I was looking at Odyssey Material Helper to tell me. So it's up here. <coughs> okay. Oh! I know what I was trying to think. What the hell am I associating Yubia with? Ship released. Watch for all <laughs> traffic when passing through the airlock. And it was actually um, NVIDIA. You know, you, when you see the advert for NVIDIA, it's like, Yubia. It's my stupid brain. Right, go. <laughs> uh. See, if you wouldn't bounce around with your stupid nose, you'd be all right. Those shields down to 4% there. <laughs> oh, they need some serious boosting. And that's where the shield booster's on.
Right, we don't have the weapons uh, up. You are clear of the station. Flight control signing off. So I'm going to put these on separate groups because that's how I like to have them. I don't use them all at the same time. Uh, why have we got recon twice? What's the point of that rust? Yeah, completely pointless. So, take that off there and duplicate that there, which then negates the need to have it here. Okay, so we've got weapons and D scan. Nice. Recon and surface scanner and D data link and comp scanner. Happy. Let's go. <coughs> Let's see what we're looking for here, Casina, because I don't have a clue. Once I see it, I'll it'll probably the the clouds will probably completely clear for me. And I'll be just saying, oh, those things. But right now, I'm drawing a blank. See, I find that if you don't do something in Elite for a while, <laughs> you forget about it. And then I find myself asking questions like, how do I do this? How does that work? Of stuff that I've done many times, but a long time ago. There you go. Mark Shaw, hey. No, you weren't late, mate. It was me. I was early. Yeah. Sorry about that. Started a bit early. <laughs> it's fine. That's my way of saying it's fine. No worries. You're not actually technically late for anything, really. Not really. You just didn't get here on time. <laughs> It's coming out your pay. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got a head full of useless info. That's that's a dead cert. So what did you think of the uh, the, the, the sim racing yesterday, Keith? You know, the, the Nissan and all that stuff. It was fun. I enjoyed it actually. I'm surprised my little ticker was taking it, but it was. It was taking it like a champ. I could feel it a little bit in my left arm last night, but it's okay today, so I guess we're fine. Ah, uh, honestly, I, I'll get you on. I'll get you on this sim rig, and I'll have you mastering it within three months. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Within an afternoon, get you around the track. You'd be amazed. And you could drive the Nissan and <laughs> it'll be, yeah, the closest you'll get to, well, I don't know, maybe you will get to drive a real one, hopefully. That'd be awesome. Who knows, you might get a lottery win. And boom, latest spec Nismo R, please. Thank you very much, good night. Right, we're looking for Elvis. Is it? Was it? Oh, the, oh, this. But that's a. That's a thing. That's a starport. Can't be that then. It's an installation. Why? Hold the phone. So why does it look like... Alright. It's got a bartender, it's got interstellar factors. It's got everything that makes it look like a... All right, let's go. It looks like an uh, look. It's in a, the icon is a Norcella starport. How is this? How am I going to scan this? What? Oh, 
Well, the Nürburgring's a bit different. I mean, the, that normally tracks are nowhere near that size, that length. That That's an exception to the rule. It took me a while to memorise it. I just did a lot of laps and just memorised a third of it. And then I, I focused on one third of it. I got about, didn't matter what, I, what happened in the rest of it. Then I focused on the middle part, which means you have to travel the first third to get to the second third. So you keep learning more of that, and then on the third third. And then once you've kind of got it mastered, you just go for it. Yeah, I think we need a bit of googly. Like, what's this? It's an icon that's got a, a, a target on it, a reticle on it. Then we got Prelude to Victory. That might be worth checking out. Can't we scan its things while we're here? Little mega ship thing going on. For me, it wasn't Prelude to Victory. For me, it was Victory to Prelude. That was because I had one of my ex-girlfriends, her surname was Victory, and then later on in my life I bought a Honda Prelude. So <laughs> I went the other way around. <laughs> oh, why am I even saying this shit? Right, let's get to this place and scan it anyway. Because we can. Who knows, you might pick up something here. Oh, I know what I should have fitted into this thing. An SRV. Because we need to go hoping at Dabs. It was a yeah. It was a a Mark V under Prelude with uh, it had more than a hundred and four though, uh, with four wheel steering and all that jazz. Uh, this is not coming up here, so I guess this isn't the type that we need. No, it's not the one I'm thinking of. It doesn't have a white thing. Scan detected. I think you might mean the mega ships, though. Okay, Thina. No? Where if you if you use a recon limpet on the thing, don't you get more data from it than if you just scan it? Well, dancing to the jailhouse rock. Boom, boom. Okay, let's go there. Oh, that's the Elvis you were talking about. Right. Well, I knew about the jailhouse one. So we go here, and we'll see what's going on. If we can pick up some data that we need, that'll be awesome. But if we can pick up the exact data that we so that we don't need to trade, even more awesomeness. That would be that'd be brilliant. But it looks to me as though I've never. 
this account and picked up any of the anomalous thing, whatever the hell it was. <coughs> I don't have the window in front of me at the moment. Skegiko O. Abnormal compact emission data. That's what it is. Grade 5. Which means prepare to grind your ass off. Well, I guess you know all these things, Katina, because, you know, obviously with all the shipbuilding you've done, all the, therefore, all the grinding you need to do for the engineering for those ships, you get to know which are the best places to go for all the stuff, right? Honestly, the world needs the Kathina book of Delete Dangerous. The Kathina's Guide to Engineering. Like a Haynes manual kind of deal. Engineering your ships the right way. Dot PDF. Whitby's just down the road. What? <laughs> What's that mean? Hey, Seridic, nine oh seven. Have you been in the dweller settlement? Ah. Uh, the engineer? The engineer's the dweller engineer's base? Yeah. It's in weird. Weird word weird. Mm-hmm. Yep, been there. Oh, that crisscrossy thing. Yes, I have seen a few of those. Erebus, Emerald, Pastors. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. Let's see what we get. Is Spider Murphy playing on the sax? I don't know what he says there. My, my brain wants to say sax trombone, but it, it can't be playing on two instruments at once. Peter Case on misheard lyrics. Oh, from the last system. What? What mark, what mark, what? <laughs> what are we on about here? Oh, this map. Are you thinking of Skegness or something? Jesus, man, that, you're right off on a, on a tangent there. I didn't have a... How was I supposed to work out when you said Whitby's just down the road that, <laughs> that you meant that? Yep. Okay, so you know, yep. Pretty much like the mega ship then, I guess, right? So if we visit all of them once in this system and then... Reinstance, we can do them all, all again, or do we just stay on the same one? Yeah, I guess O is what they say when they get to Skegness as well. They go, Skegness, oh, let's go home. Right, gotcha. Let's see what it yields for us then. Anything useful. Because these are going to be encoded and we only need one. So if it brings abnormal compact emission data, then that's fine. We just wait until we get four of those. I have to say though, this is not one of the methods 
reported on ED Materials Helper. But you can't really go by that too much either. Because one of the things we wanted, which was pharmaceuticals, they suggested getting it from independent and alliance systems, and it turned out that we actually got it from a um, federation system. Right, so we're close enough to... No, that's not what we want. We don't want to do the hatches, do we? We just want to do the data transmitters, and there's two of them here. Are we going to get attacked? How close do we need to be? Do the comms array as well, maybe. But nothing out of that one. Didn't transmit any data. Is the other one locked in? Because... Okay. Oh, okay. That's what the recon limpers are for, dopey ass. Trying to figure out where I put them. There we go. Sorry, I'm just learning. I'm new to this. I've only been playing for a little while. You can't fire a limpet at it. So it must be somewhere else. Let's go to the other thing. Hackable comms array, perhaps? Do the uh, let's do the comms array. I did buy limpet, yeah. It just said it wasn't a hackable target. Twenty six limpet or twenty limpets. Yeah, it's not, it says it's not a valid target, which means it's not hackable. Ooh. Red for some reason. 
Sir Riddick. Have I encountered Thargoids? What, in my life? Yes, plenty of times. Millions of times. Killed millions of them. So that's on the comms array, but there's another one. Let's we'll go back to the other ones and see if they've got hackable things as well. Depends, uh, Sir Riddick, for for Thargoids. Uh, I wouldn't choose either of those. getting anything out of here. Cracked industrial firmware. I think maybe not feasible as of yet. Because we're wanted here now, so if we come back to this same one. I, I didn't hear you tell me that, Zonta. And if you did, I didn't see the message. Let's try it on a fresh one. Although I'm, I suspect we're wanted in the system and, and not just there. Too far away.
Now what? Warning. Taking heat damage. Thermal signature restored. Hull integrity compromised. Silent running. Battery incurred. Taking damage. Thermal signature. I remember doing this in the past now. Having to run away and come back all the time. Now I have no shields. I don't know what we just picked up there. Look, I couldn't see. It comes on the screen and disappears too quickly. Yeah, well, I don't have that. That's the thing. <clears throat> So I just let the ship overheat then. It's the only thing I, it's the only way I can stay silent. getting marmalized. I can't do this Kathina, I can't do it. It's not feasible, it's too stressful and all that stuff. And it's killing my ship. Cheers Cosmic, see you later. T too stressful. <clears throat> Definitely. Too many things going on. Can't jump out because I didn't take off the hard points and should have re-jumped in instead of going back and... Ugh. No way. So, we have to have a reset here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, right. We are going to... A boom system, and I don't care what, who owns it. You know what I think is ridiculous? Even on this list, just on this list alone, Frontier can't get it in alphabetical order. Why? Why is Boom here? And why is Retreat up there? Fair enough, you can have none at the top, but then start A, B, C, D, E. Why can't they do this? Why does it have to be random? I just don't get it. They're so lax on this stuff. I am far enough away. <clears throat> yeah. 
I can't pass the materials from my main account to this one though. This is the one that needs it, but obviously, and then I'm a, I can't build it on this one because I'm building the Python. So I'm, it's just that freaking dilemma that I'm stuck in at the moment. Let's find a high pop one of these. I don't know why I wasn't looking up population there. Hello, Hodak. Again. For being in a state of boom, certainly don't have a lot of people enjoying it. Good enough. And again, I think this population, if you put it on, it should stay on until you take it off. There we go, we've got nearly a billion on that one. There you go. <coughs> State of Boom, Federation, economies, don't care. Just go in there to see what's in the high grades. If it's what we want, cool. If it isn't, then we'll know straight away. There's nothing to test, Sir Riddick. The, the, it's, right now, this ship is a fetus. It's not even ready for anything. I'm not, I can't waste time in conflict zones when I'm going, I'm going to get stuff that I need. This is the whole point of the stream, is to get the materials that we need to build this ship. So next is the nav beacon, if there is one. Oh, okay, well, not even there yet. Kind of would help, wouldn't it? This is the ship's none of those. It's multi-purpose. <clears throat> it's a multi-purpose ship with the ability to handle itself in a fight. So basically mission running, trading and killing if necessary. Yeah, the crate's a good ship as well. Once we've got all the materials, it's not just going to be a case of building the ship. We need to be able to unlock all the engineers that we can to get the ship built and engineered. Otherwise, we'll never get it finished.
kick up the arse, I suppose. They're too widely spread, these ships. I can't scan them. Well, that's it, isn't it? Frontier just got you by the balls, if you have any, so to speak. <laughs> God, some things. One click, some things are two. This is where the SCO comes in. Perfect use for the SCO right now. You know, I know the ship I wanted to build, and now I'm just trying to work out why I needed to build it this way. See, this ship needs to be a stepping stone to get me, to allow me to undertake missions that will reward me the good stuff to build the materials for when I do the next ship. Did I say that right? Yeah. And we want to have fun with it as well. I need to put a SRB on this. And also, I kind of want to have the SCO. I wish you could fit two in. Where you could choose between a normal one and an SCO. You can just swap from one source to the other. Well, I hope so, it's on top. Because you've said it three times, so I'm going to hold you to it. Because that is what I'm after. I need core dynamics. I only need to pick up um, two of them, but if there's more, I'll take it. But I am here specifically for core dynamic. That's my purpose for being here. Also, hold on. Also, protos wouldn't go amiss. Proto lights, proto heats wouldn't go amiss either. No one I know, hey. Oh, I've done a stream on it. You might want to check it out. It just makes super cruise faster but only in short bursts, but it has a lot of downsides. So, it's about as practical as a condom machine in the Vatican. At the moment, at least until maybe Frontier's law carries on and they can do another CG so we can get a better one and make it engineerable. But yeah, basically faster super cruise. Okay, uh, Zonta, how much were you betting? 50 bucks? Come on then. Make the dog howl. 
Uh, I can't get the thing to work. This this panel's not working, guys. Screw it. I'm gonna have to do it manually. We're gonna be full on these. We've we've nearly got a full bin already. I've got 92 out of a possible hundred. What are you doing? Why are you dipping down? Wanna try that again? Keeps hitting the ship or something. What the fuck is wrong with this python? Does the python have a problem with picking up cargo? Jesus freaking Christ. This is Federal Boom. Federation boom, I should say. That's it. No? No, what one more? Two, four, yeah. This one. Last one, then this one. That's it. Can't take any more of those. Oh, I don't know, Sir Riddick. This is a new account. I don't think I've even started on that. And besides, this isn't my main account either. Yeah, this menu's fucked. I can't move anything in it. It's a bug, but it's, it tends to be that if you come out of that screen like that and then go back in, it fixes itself. Oh, Frontier, you are so fucking useless, honestly. Get your bugs fixed. Never mind fucking whatever else you're doing. Put the Python 2 down and fix your, fix your bugs. Jesus. How many times do you access this panel, the contacts panel in a game? And they can't even get it fixed. And it's been like this for a while. There was years and years we went with this where there was no issues. And now we've lost all of the data. There was no issues with this panel ever. And then they brought in the error because they're incompetent and they messed up. And then the next thing you know, it's, it's still here, you know, all these years later. forcing me into the EPSS. I have to do this manual now because it forced me to come out of the game and back in in order to make their stupid contact panel work again. And then uh, when you do that, it forgets all the data from the nav beacon. Brilliant. Genius Frontier. Well done. You're on to a winner there. Bugs like that though should have been squashed a long time ago. It's going to be the same thing, right? We'll check it. See how far away it is. Forget it. We're in the wrong system here, guys, because we have we have this shelf down here which is billions of miles away. And so you get high grades billions of miles away and I ain't doing it. So we need to be in a different system.
Um, how much dependence is population on the amount of high grades that you're likely to get? If I if I jump into an independent boom system with low pop, to be fair though, I only need one, don't I? Okay, independence, seven and a half million. That's the best I can hope for. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, hands, it's terrible, honestly. I'd tell them to spend the day going through all the lists in Elite Dangerous and getting them, the ones that matter, get them into alphabetical order, especially in the galaxy map and the system map. Sort out the uh, a way of doing the uh, contacts panel so it's not constantly flowing around when you need to pinpoint a target and stop it from hanging. Yeah. Oh, and if they wouldn't mind, every time we do a hyper jump, put the navigation cursor back at the top of the screen, please. That'd be nice. Just make it reset to the top. That's got to be like a line of code. One line of code. <laughs> it's got to be like a five minute job to do that, which is why it's more annoying that it exists. So we just jumped into a fresh system. It's at the top. Perfect. Yes. Compromised. Give us that every time, Frontier, please. And Uncle Rusty be very happy. Right now it's just random. It's random. It just the orange bar can appear anywhere like in the list. <laughs> it just seems random. It's bizarre. But anyway, it's what we have. It is what we have and we make do with it. I haven't been into a compromise now for a while. I can't remember what they were about. Oh, here we go. I couldn't be bothered. I made myself pay for my mistake. We're just going to wait for the cooldown. You know, you see that FSD cooldown and the thing? Frontier messed up on that. Not with this one, this is fine. What we're seeing, it cooled down here, perfect. They didn't add it onto the Super, uh, super Cruise Overcharged module when that needs to cool down. They didn't put the little ring on. How do you miss this stuff? <laughs> oh, right here. Oh, that's, that, it's not on there because it's part of the fact that it's a prototype. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, Arthur. <laughs> we are developing something, but we can't tell you what it is at the moment. Thank you, Rolf Harris. I don't mean that, I mean, because he used to say, can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> can you guess what it is yet? Oh. I mean, if you have a frameshift drive and, an, and a pre-engineered frameshift drive and they both have got the cooldown circle on them how do you not do it for the SEO? it's the same freaking module Didn't you just tell me, Zonta, that it had to be independence or reliance? What's going on? Oh no, that was for protolites. Yeah, okay. Well, protolites are core dynamics or protoheats. 
Any of those will, will do. I just need to make progress on something, and I don't care what it is. Any of those. Proto heat, proto lights. I bet we get the other one. Proto radiolics. I bet you we get those. <laughs> oh, right. All the way up to the top, and all the way down again. I'll bet you there's no high zone here at all. Because of the shitty low population. Nope. Should we jump into an encoded and see what the hell? We might get lucky. I think Dab's Hope has to be the place to go to because at least I can make solid progress there. Guaranteed. There's no way, though, in the galaxy map where you can tell it to only show boom state with independent or alliance and I pop. You can't have it do three. Let me just turn my phone off because it's uh, beeping at me like a. There we go. Achilles, well, Achilles had a weakness, didn't he? Modify consumer anomalous MSD. How does that happen? Don't we have to scan the frickin' thing first? What? Okay, I guess not. Maybe we just have to look at it for a couple of seconds and it's happy. with me. I don't think we're going to get high grades here. Well, Sandro was wrong, because if it's a grind, it's not fun either, and the trick is to find the balance in between, and uh, Frontier are not very good at doing that. Sometimes, yeah, they can do it, they can get it. Oh, independent, 1.1 billion, that looks like a bit more favourable. Any I struggled with this word last time. Advances. Any advances on that? No. Let's go. So a much bigger population here. 1.1 billion independent boom state. Inner Orion Spur. Right, Navy Bacon. up here? No, it's behind me. I 
package right here on the doorstep. Well, you just have to do it by the FSS or you can do it by the nav beacon. <clears throat> and then there's a timer on them, of course, now. So that's nice. I don't even remember what it was like before. I know they popped in, but I don't remember what the way of detecting them was. And not missing any. Child of mine. Not wanted. Scan detected. gonna find on me boy is limpets Four, three, right let's try again All oh, right. Yeah, it was way far back. I, there's lots of ways that we were doing things back then that I'd forgotten. Like if you plonked me in an Elite Dangerous from say five years ago, oof, I'd be, I'd be lost on quite a few things. Hey, you know that song? There's got to be a way to make a song about the Super Cruise Overcharge module. You know that one that goes D-I-S-C-O, right? The disco song. Well, S-C-O. It's my S-C-O. <laughs> it's got, like it, it overheats and drinks the fuel. There's got to be a, a mock version of that one. So if we do find protos here, whether they be lights or heat, we can just fill the bag up, not a problem. It'd be nice to get one of, like maybe both. Yeah. Five C S C O, you could do that, right? <laughs> It sets me on fire. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be something. Uh, it's, yeah. Well, it's gonna be radiolics because it's the only one I don't want. Girl on fire, yeah. By Bachman Turner uh, Overdrive, whatever it's called, Overdrive. Because it is kind of an overdrive, it's, well, it's more nitrous, really, I guess, than overdrive. I'm too thirsty for this ship. <laughs> 
There's so many different ones though. See, I'm paying attention to the chat again. Can't afford to do that when with these things. Because we're under pressure. You know that uh, orchestra when it was in the dark, Joan of Arc? <laughs> you could do Marco Quint, he is bent. <laughs> but he improved my power plant. Never mind, I don't know. Yay, Denzel. Thursday morning, wow, not here. But seeing as how you're already at Thursday 8am, can you tell me what the lottery numbers are going to be? Yes! <laughs> so we got 15 plus 12 is 27, which means we only need one more after this. So we can do it. Uh, let's go. That's another material crossed off the list, or it will be when we do our second run. And the, uh, another high grade we go in could have proto lights, may have proto radiolics. Radio bollocks. Radio bollocks. 93.6. Radio bollocks, 93.6 in FM. On your FM. Don't touch that dial. Right, if we can get another hole like this, we're good. So we pick up, come on, and we leave. Properly leave, desktop leave. Because <laughs> there's a few minutes on the clock yet. Uh, okay, come on. Well, I'm pretty sure I had an Elite Dangerous client still running. But it would seem that I do not. So I've got to log in again. Huh? Okay, let's see what account it's going to log in with. I don't know if I've done this right. I use uh, ShareX. S-H-A-R-E-X. ShareX. For screen capture. It's got lots of options. Including one that doesn't work. Which is called Start with Windows. It doesn't do it. No, collect limpets are for wimps. No, collect limpets no good. Why bother? I'm I'm very efficient doing it manually. And I I am efficient doing it manually because I don't use collect limpets. I guarantee you I pick those five up quicker than the limpets. Yeah, we're in John Beamer's account. What? Come on. FDev for f 
bricks sake, get you. Right, it says launching Steam. I don't want to launch Steam. Why aren't you giving me the option to launch with a Frontier account? Like you always freaking do. What the fuck is it doing? When it comes, it always says launch with Steam or launch with Frontier account. I ain't getting that anymore. I'm going to log out completely. Okay. There we go. I've done it. Logged out of the client. This is just Frontier fucking with me. Oh, Jesus, man. You have sent me a verification code. What is the world coming to? Eh? I was downloading something the other day, and it said, uh, you know, it's a free download off a website. It's a free download. Uh, one of the flight sim websites. Completely free. And... Um, they wanted me to verify that I wasn't a robot and to pick all the pictures that didn't or that had cars in them until there was none left. It's fucking free. Find a different way to control your spam bots. And what? Yeah, never, never mind. Fuck it. Hey, Kiwi. I'm not on Windows 11, I'm on Windows 10. I'm, I'm refusing to switch to 11. Uh, but this, all this authentication bullshit, it's just a pain in the ass more than anything else. And a lot of it's done to get information from you in the name of security. They do it a lot these days. Nah, Linux has never been my thing. I can't do what I want to do at a computer with Linux. The life I have behind my keyboard, I can't have it with Linux. It's just not good enough. It's just not there. And Linux isn't going to get rid of um, recapture. Yeah, my computer wanted me to do the Windows 11 upgrade today and I turned it down for the fourth time. It doesn't seem to want to get the message. 15 minutes is way enough for us to get what we need, but if I can scoop a bit more, great. And I was using my ASP today on this account and as I was docking into the station, it went into, uh, what do you call the thing? Auto docking. And it, it, it pissed me off. I don't want a water dock either. I'm not interested in auto docks, I'm not interested in super cruise assists, and I'm not interested in collector limpets, unless I'm mining. But for collecting just odds and sods like this, I'm quicker than limpets. And I don't expire. And I don't take up cargo space. This is the difference between automatic and manual gearbox. For me. It's manual all the way. We've got what we want now on those. 
proto lights would be nice now, so I don't know whether they'll appear in a different high grade or or what. It can be the case though, because it doesn't mean that protos are going to be in every single one. But of course, now that we're miles away and we've had to come out the game, we're going to have to do one of these. We're miles away from the nav beacon, so we have to do it again. Well, at least we made some progress. We've now. Well, I say progress. Progress that hasn't required a, a material trader. First time on the stream we've done that. I do think the high grade should be a little bit more common than what they are right now. They're very, very elusive. There's no guarantee I'm going to get any, let alone just trying to find just one. That'll do. They're never close by though. This is why you need the overcharge for this, so you can get there quick. Now, codecs are really for, uh, for, video, for audio, aren't they? Well, look, there's been no flashing today. <laughs> and I, I have done a complete, let me tell you what I did. I did a complete fresh graphics driver install, right? I don't install GeForce Experience anymore. Um, so I just do the drivers. So I used registry uh, CCleaner to clean out the registry uh, of crap first and then went to DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller from Guru3D. Uninstalled NVIDIA drivers in its absolute totality just blitzed everything every folder everywhere um, and that was gone and that was done in safe mode and you know when there's no graphics drivers or traces of it because when you boot back into normal mode and your icons are all over your screen and you've got three screens and your two outside ones are not lit up because it's it, it needs the Nvidia drivers to power the other two screens um, or at least a driver, a decent driver, not the standard Windows one won't do it. Unless maybe you go into the options. Fuck knows. I don't care. I don't know. But I only had the one screen. I had icons all over the place. But I knew not to touch them because every, as soon as my three screens were back on, I would, I would have my icons back in place. And then I would have to, of course, swap the screens around you know, make primary and all that crap that, you, that goes with having more than one screen. And so I did that and I, I reinstalled the drivers, the NVIDIA drivers from scratch. Didn't touch any of the settings in the control panel. Came into Elite Dangerous, didn't touch any graphic settings here either. And so far, no flashing. I wasn't looking out for it today because I forgot about it, but I know I haven't seen any because I know if I had seen it, some I would have noticed it. So that, that's, I mean, we'll see. You can tell when you go to a planet and you know that part where the shade goes to daytime, 
you can I can get flickering there, but it only happens on certain angles. Proto lights would be gorgeous. Okay. Well, we might as well get these because the more we have of these, the better. I'm just hoping we're not going to get proto heats on every single one now. Because we do want these, but we've got our fill of them now. In fact, for the build, we need 18. So I'm going to pick up another, what, 12 here? No, yeah, 12. Try a different state of USS. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I didn't spot what this one was in. But also, as well, if I get one in, in a different state, it's probably going to have two minutes left on it. I don't buy the right lottery ticket. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, you're right. I, I keep forgetting about the different states of the actual... Isn't it crazy? You can have just a little pocket of space and it's got its own state to it. Which determines what's in the thing. I don't even know what that one was. Next one to try is expansion or none. Okay. Four, three, two, one, okay. So we have. Uh, boom, boom, Proto heats. We've got 51. Okay. So we're going to have to go in here, aren't we? Because I only, I only uh, picked on the first one I saw. Did you recall the ones? Oh, it was Boom. Ah, oh, okay. So you guys are paying attention. Very good. Because I. Paying attention to it more than me, yeah. So we had a we had a boom, high grade emission in a boom system. That's what we were looking at just now, right? So we need one that's not boom. Maybe we'll get one that's sh shakalaka. I don't know. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Maybe there's no more here, who knows. Not even Frontier, no. Oh, did I tell you about my anaconda? Hmm. I don't think I've mentioned it, have I? Have I? Hmm. Have I? Have I? I don't know, I'll tell you in a second. Let me just get these done. Right, that's in boom as well, so we're ignoring that, right? No. No. Okay. Well, it's not not much to tell. It's it's nothing. It's just a little issue that needed resolving, and they resolved it. Oh, that's it, guys. We only have the one high grade here, and that was there. I wonder if we go to a different system that's also high pop, but not quite as... Like, it, it might not be quite as high as this one. So, if you guys remember, but I had a cloned anaconda. I had two Annie's. One in the bubble in Shinrata Desra and one that was cloned all the way up east and we went on our trip up east and there was two there and it's been there for a while since we did the Rusty Goes East. I can't remember there was a glitch in the matrix while we were up there. I don't remember what it was exactly but it caused Frontier to put my ship back and I don't know what the hell went wrong. I just don't remember. It's probably on a stream somewhere. 
But we got it sorted, and I ended up uh, leaving the planet, heading back for home, but then my clone ship was still back on this planet, right? So, there were both identical ships, same name, everything the same. So I got into my head, can I sell it? Or is it, treated as a, is it treated as a separate ship and I can sell it? Or if I sell that one that is um, all the way up there, am I going to create a real big problem for myself because it's somehow hard linked to my ana anaconda here and it's going to create a big problem? Well, I ticketed Frontier, and mess I ticketed them, and I asked them, I've got this clone ship from before. Ooh, nice. Can I sell it? And they came back to me and said, no, you can't, but not because they didn't want me to have the money from it, but because that it would be an issue, because of the way it was, there was two of them, that if I'd sold that ship, it would have been an issue. I think Frontier got back to me in like two days. Like it was a, I don't know if it was same day or the day after when I got a message saying, uh, you have submitted a ticket, we acknowledge the receipt of your blah, blah, blah. But it was the day after that Frontier actually got back to me. So it was a couple of days, didn't have to wait long. And, you know, you, you hope and pray that they've read the message correctly and they're not deleting the wrong ship because I'd hate to have an anaconda stuck all the way up there and the one in Shinny gone. <clears throat> but he said, yeah, he said, yeah, no, you can't sell it because it would be an issue. I don't know whether that means that if I tried to sell it, I wouldn't have been able to, or if I had, it would have it would have done something bad to my one in Shinny. I don't know. But they were linked some way. So, uh, he got it removed. So it's no longer, it's no longer up there. I used to have a yellow icon up here. And it's no longer there. It's gone. But I didn't earn any money from it. It wouldn't let me do that. But there you go. Um, right, so we're in a different system now. Still boom and no shakalaka. But it is also another high pop system. So maybe... Now, is it the case that high grades or encodeds or any of those can only exist in states that the factions here are in. So for example if there is no faction here in an expansion state would it then be impossible to find a USS in an expansion state? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah I was hoping that they hadn't deleted my original ship and left the clone up there but it, it seems that they did actually read the message correctly and that the cloned one was the one that was far up out east as we say so yeah that's been resolved anyway I don't have a clone ship anymore I don't have to worry about I, I was going to do it on a video. I was going to say, right, I'm going to sell my anaconda and see what happens. I was actually going to do that on a video. And I'm so glad I didn't. I would have been so pissed with myself. I would have been angry about that. Especially having to re-engineer that condor again. So if we look here, for example, in this system, we have dictatorship, democracy... Oh, it doesn't say it here, does it? Here, it will say it. But... Uh, Scan detected. Which one are they in? Can they only exist in these three states, then? Either these or boom, bust, civil unrest... What? What, 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 what? Yeah, here we go, other states. So, we have civil war, no other states here, so I'm assuming none. Civil war, that one, civil war. That's it, so it looks like civil war or none, right? Or am I dreaming? 
then you've got the stations that they own, extraction, agriculture. Uh, it's a bloody mess. It's a whole conflict system, this is. <clears throat> uh, if I'm ever going to buy a new video card, the one I've got is fairly recent. Um, I haven't bought a video card in years. The last three have been gifted to me by my awesome, legendary community. But, uh, yeah, I have, I have the 3080 Ti at the moment, which is great. If I was able to, yeah, I'd go for a 4070 Ti or something. But I think the 5 Series is coming out now. Yeah, I haven't got a 1080. <laughs> no, tomorrow's thing is not nothing to do with graphics. Actually, this graphics card is running pretty much everything I need it to do. If it can run Flight Sim, it seems like it can just run everything else. Uh, yeah. Flight Sim was the was the big thing for me but I have yeah it's kind of not made too much of a difference over my 2080 super except sometimes now I can land at, after a two-hour flight and I'm not getting stutters anymore that might be down to the extra uh, VRAM I don't know I don't know Well, we don't have any high grades. You're unbelievable. No. No, I grade uh, those big up. Uh, degraded and encoded. Could it be because it's in a conflict zone? Yeah, I start. I started by being. Well, I had. I did have twin 1070s, uh, SLI'd, back in the day. I don't remember what I had before that. A 970, possibly. I have really no idea. And then I was gifted a 1080 Ti. And then I sold that. And I was gifted a 2080 Super. And then I, I gifted the 2080 Super away, uh, as because I was gifted a 3080 Ti. So yeah. But I know that Nvidia are doing the the the, the five series range, so that's going to bring down the prices of the four series and the threes. But yeah, this 3080 is great. I get really good frame rates if I don't cap. Okay, Kathina, have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Right, while we're waiting for... While we're waiting for any high grades to potentially pop in, I'm just going to check out... other possible places oh <gasps> it's always agricultural and industrial in these bloody places though 3.2 billion that's massive that's bigger agriculture and refinery 5.1 billion Ernie Mara industrial Let's go to Herni Mara. I'm not an actress. It was it was enough for me to persuade it, to be persuaded to go to AMD on the CPU. GPU, I'm an Nvidia guy really. Yeah. 
No flickering look. Look at those shadows. Not a single flicker. So I don't know. There must have been an issue with the drivers. Even like I've done, you know, when you install the NVIDIA drivers, it gives you an option to do a clean install. Even that didn't fix it. And I'm sure I used, oh no, I didn't. I did want to use Display Driver Uninstaller before, but it didn't uninstall. It came up with an error, so I didn't use it. Um, but I've d I did download the latest DDU before using it two days ago, and it did, in it did work. It absolutely just killed everything, and CCleaner got rid of any potential registry entries and stuff like that. So, yeah, I made properly sure that even forensics couldn't find any traces that I had graphics drivers installed. <laughs> Except the file in my downloads folder, but we'll forget about that. And, uh, yeah, just put it in right from scratch. Didn't touch any uh, setting in the NVIDIA control panel. I will be touching those, but I just wanted to... Make sure that on default that there was not going to be any issues. And so far, I have had zero flashing in Elite. Which is great, because that was the whole reason why I did it. Yeah, I'm just teasing around Kai. I don't know what's going on with uh, the Titans. No, DDU is for everything, NVIDIA and AMD. And Intel, Intel graphics as well, it'll do. Isn't it NVIDIA that has the tagline, the way it's meant to be played? That's NVIDIA, right? And if so... Oops. If so, what's AMD's tagline? Right, we're not going to see high until we get quite a distance away, I would imagine. If if we're going to see any. Oh, I thought it was a capital ship. Okay. Are you joking me? Come on, man. How many protolites do I need? Eleven. Which means... I only need to find four protolites, and I have twelve. Come on. Not a single one. We are in such a highly populated system as well. But, as there is a station here, while we're waiting for the other, for some new high grades to populate, we can pop over here and pick up a car, I hope. And what else did I want? Um, I'm going to take the limpet thing off. What else did I want? I don't remember. I think we'll grab the car and then if we don't get any luck with high grades here, 
we'll do a few dabs hope runs and pick up electrochemicals and maybe some proprietary composites would be nice as well we'll need three of those it's the electrochemical arrays that we need to make a killing on but they're grade threes they can appear fairly often Let me try this one first. Hey, knitting needles. I've not seen those for a while. Right, which way are we spinning here? There. Request approved. Sit down on landing pad at four at one. That's how long. That the time it took me to boost since I got in the system, that's how long there was the delay was for. <laughs> Noob hammers. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't know if you got my message, Mr. Buds. Uh, but uh, yes, thank you for the other day. I appreciate that, man. make these guys look silly. I can tan the landing gear so that the moment just it, I bring the landing gear out just before they say I warning landing gear not deployed. Daniel 1274 hello. Oh did you see the mamba that we built Hans at the end of the other the previous stream? We introduced it at the beginning then we didn't use it through the stream until the end. Re-engineered some of the weapons. Oh, mama, that thing's fun. Uh, right, outfitting. We need a, we need a wee, a wee trolley, a six-wheel trolley. Oh, the Mamba build we have is so much fun, and this ship is kind of going to be. Hard points wise, it's going to kind of be modeled after it. It's where we were using, um, we were using uh, multi cannons for shield stripping as well as hull stripping. Cool. Yeah, so really good. Okay, I'm going to go class two if we have one. We do. And we want one of these. Two G or not two G? That is the question. Definitely two G. First line of Hamlet, right? What do I know? The amount I know about William, you could shake a spear at. Right. There was something else I was after here, and I don't remember what. It was. Hmm. Get rid of that. Oh, I know, we'll do it from here. Uh, 
Interstellar. No, it wasn't that, but I might have a look at that actually. I know we are wanted. How long does it take to sell 16 limpets? Stand by. Your man. Hello, Frontier. It's ridiculous. Did we get rid of them? Good enough for me. Um, let's see what's here. Nothing. I would like to see a tech broker. Um, preferably the one that does the pre-engineered. In fact, let me have a look and see. Let me see if I can bring this up for you guys. We can see the... Uh, Just going off on a bit of a tangent here. But I want to see what we need for the pre-engineered heat sink. So I think it's human modules. Uh, Sirius heat sink launcher. Is that the one? Yeah. We can buy one straight out. We've got plenty of mechanical scrap, which I know that we need for the Python build. So I have to be careful. We don't need those. So for the Python we need... Look at this. All these materials to engineer the Python. It's crackers. So where's mechanical scrap? There. Ah, we only need two. And we've got 27. So yeah, we can just go get the Sirius heatsink launcher with five heat sinks and 75% longer recharge time. Compared to the player engineered version, the pre-engineered version had one additional heat sink for 2.5 second longer recharge, but does not carry the increased mass penalty. There you go. The module is available through tech brokers on Sirius Corporation megaships, Chariot of Rhea, I think we've got the Sirius permit, I'll have to check. The module must be unlocked repeatedly in order to obtain multiple copies. Well that's fair enough, the requirements aren't that big, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, Luton Star, Spirius of Laylaps in Luton Star. We can go pick one of those up and put it on. Um, 115 light years. Let's just program that in. But yeah, we've got we've got the materials and we can spare them. But I wonder how far away that is from Davs. I wonder how far we are from Davs. Let's get out first and check the uh, high grades. Because if we do just drop in lucky and pick up some protolites, then that's another one off the list. And we'll have, considering how many reds that were on the screen at the beginning of the stream, we've stripped down a lot of them. Most, oh, God, made me jump. Mostly down to the material traders, to be fair. But, you know, it, I don't care. I'll take it anywhere I can get it, really. Can you? I don't think you can pin them, can you, Hans? Can you pin those? If it's pre-engineered? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Um, right, let's see if there's any high grades appeared at all. Right, hold on to your lottery tickets. I just go in. If I need, if there is one, I'll jump in twice. I just need to whip through this because nine times out of ten, actually more than that, 99 times out of 100, it's not going to be high grade. I 
We've not been lucky in this system at all yet. We haven't found a single one. Oh, I can't believe it let me in there. I wasn't ex expecting it to let me through that edge of that planet, but it did. We're running out. This is a bust, isn't it? Anything on this one? No, across here I think we've done, we've got one here. There's one buried, wow, it's buried deep this one, do you think? No. That's it, we're out, it's done, nothing. Okay, that's a fair distance away. And light and stars in the opposite direction, isn't it? Anyway, we know we can do the pre-engineered heatsink. We know we can do that. So let's go and get some, hopefully, electrochemical arrays and proprietary composites, I believe. No. What else was it saying that I could get from Dab's Hope from here? Oh, we must have... Oh, I don't know. It might have been the sifts. No. Electrochemical arrays is what we're after. We'll also pick up a load of other stuff at the same time. And... Abnormal compact emission data... Data beacons found in encoded emissions. Scan combat ships, pirate ships in resource extraction sites. Scan authority ships, military ships in conflict zones. So you go to a conflict zone, scan authority ships. So, electrochemical arrays. We are going to need for this build 58 of them. We own 28, so we need 30. So if you divide that by 3, that's 10. Uh, so we're going to need 10 electrochemical arrays. Minimum, we could do it in 10 laps. Maybe 9 if 2 appear in one go. <laughs> It's not impossible. So. Mm. Let's see how many laps it takes us. And, as I said, you know, when it's not, it, when it's not an electrochemical array, We'll be picking up stuff that we need for other engineering. So it's win-win, really, at Dav's Hope. Until you've filled all your buckets. And you've got your data there every time. And I know how to lap around it really quickly. God, I've done it enough times. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. We'll be good. And then Jameson crash site as well, we can go to replenish the, uh, what was it? Adaptive encryptors capture, was it? No, yeah, something that we, we spent, a, we traded a lot of. We had like 90 of them and now we've got like 60. But they're easily replenishable at Jameson's crash site. So we can go and get those done as well, um, probably another time. Can you imagine if Frontier ever nerfed Dab's Hope? Just like it, it was just as an empty site with no materials on the ground. And is there any more places like Dab's Hope where there's just materials all over scattered around? It'd be an uproar if they got rid of it. 
<laughs> so they probably wanted to, but they know that they'd get they get backfire from it. Big big style backfire if they tried that. <laughs> Dav's no hope. Well, I've been sent an email to, that's granted me access to this new racing sim coming out, Rensport. I've got a beta key. And I can stream it. But I've heard a lot of negative press with it as well. So I don't know what to make of it. How many materials do we need? All in all, one, two, three, four, five, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just need to find seven different materials up, up to the quantity required. We can do a lot of engineering right now. We've, we've picked up enough to do a lot of engineering on this ship. But I'm going to actually wait until we've got everything and then just go to engineer after engineer and just do the whole thing in one go. Because then it's just going to be epicness. This is our stop, isn't it? DRV C223? Yep. Oh, is that right, Hans? Oh, I don't think I've ever been there. One moon over from Jameson's. But only low-grade mats. Stack. Yes, collect limpets in a combat zone, yeah, conflict zone, right? Or even in a hazres, you know, when the... If you go to a high one and you've got the feds taking care of... Every time you hear a boom, just whiz over there and hoover up. But yeah, conflict zone would be a, a really good idea, wouldn't it? Because then it's... The ships are getting destroyed all the time there. But I wouldn't need to team up, would I? I could just take collect the limpets myself and just go scoop, scoopy everything. Get the big collector limpets, the ones that have got long life, where they just sit under your belly for ages. <laughs> Does it just go after materials? I don't want it to go after something I've targeted. Just if I get close to a material, it'll start going after them. Oh, I'm not paying attention again. I really must learn to focus. Thing is, when you're traveling in super cruise, it's easy to lose focus and be distracted. Interesting little place, isn't it? Irregular markers. Get some good data from those if it's a threat to. Manufactured instructions, blah, 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 things like that. Oh, somebody has to pick a side. I see what you mean. That's interesting though, I mean if I don't pick a side and someone gets killed, what's going to be the case then? Am I not going to be able to see their mats or... How could they work, how could they justify that? 
Oh, let's have a look at the lighting here. Flickering. Try different angles. No flickering. Like zilch. I think we nailed it, guys. I think we nailed the flickering. See, normally with the NVIDIA graphics drivers, for years I've been just doing... I can't remember the last time I did a driver uninstall, but uh, <clears throat> it's been a lot of times where I've just installed the latest NVIDIA driver over the top of the previous, over and over again. Something's got... something got knotted up. But right now, if there's no flashing down on Dav's Hope, I'm going to say that's sorted. Which is great. Because that means if it was a driver or a problem, then it, it, it could have been affecting other games as well. But yeah, we're good. Thus far. I mean, we've been going like three hours or something and I've not seen a single flash yet. Right, so we need to park ourselves at the gate. Which is there, but wait a minute. What the hell is this? Oh, it's there, sorry. I was saying that the, the thing that you scan is on the right-hand side of the gate as you go into the place. And I was looking at that big tower, thinking that was it. But no, it is. It's down there on the right. Or it will be on the right once we uh, enter from here. Awesome. You could face the other way and put the lights on and light up the entire... Can you? I mean, we could. Might hit my nose here. I'm not sure how much this is going to light up, but we can try it. See, now normally I would get a, I can get a lot of flickering here with these lights. It depends on the angle. I look down like this, different angles, it'll flicker. I ain't getting nothing. Nope, nothing. I think we're good. I think that's very solved. Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. Eh? I consider that a success for sure. Right, it's scoopy time. Okay. Do we actually need this? Yeah, it's better with it on. I can see the outline of the materials then. Right, so. We'll do the data point from here. And we're good. Incoming message. Right, what are we picking up? MCFs. Okay. Right, so cargo scoop is open. Let's go. Electrochemical arrays, please. Or anything else that I don't have full, I will take. I think electrochemicals are the ones that look like you've pulled it out of an old radio. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. 
these. Is it these? No, not those. They've got scraggly bits on them. I'll know one when I see one. Oh, there, 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 with all the wires coming out, did you see? Electrochemical arrays, there, we got one already. Yeah, you can just see it's got all the pokey wires coming out over the top. Well, that's what we're looking for. There you go, on the, on the left there. Conductive ceramics, that one. So what's the other one that we need? Oh, I don't think there's anything else here in our list that we can get from Dav's Hope. However, that doesn't mean too much because it means if there's anything else that we've got enough of, right? We, like a material we've already got enough of, so we don't need to bother. If we can find those, then that means we'll have a a replenishment of stock once we've built the python. Yeah? Yeah. The more the merrier, in other words. So like, for, we've already got enough... Um, what, what would be another good dabs one? Uh, let's have a look. Heat veins? Yeah, heat veins is dabs hope. We've got 56, we need 34. But if it, if it was close, you know, like let's say we need 40 and we've got 44, that's enough. But if we find more here, then all the better. Because the more we have left over afterwards, the better it is for us. So we only need nine electrochemicals now. Oh, cracked industrial. But we already filled filled those, didn't we? We we already we traded for them. Yeah. Well, there you go. Kung Pao shielding, as I call it. Heat dispersion plate. We traded some of those. Yep, yeah, we traded those to, to buy another material, to swap. Electrochemical arrays in the same place, that's two of them. Eight remaining, and we're good. Although, it'd be nice to stay, stick around and pick up a couple of extras, right? <laughs> oh, we filled these last time, high density composites. We had a full bin, but... Obviously, we spent them by uh, building, I think, the rest of the Cobra. Yeah, Cobra's drives. That's another lap. So, we've done two laps, and we picked up two electrochemicals. Can we get another one? Three in a row. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, and we just picked up refined focus crystals here as well. It's making me wonder about whether we can pick up um, exquisites from here. It's it's not mentioned that you can, but maybe you can't, so I don't know. But refined, yeah, sure, you can. Compound shielding. Mr. Lamppost. Conductive ceramics. High density composites. Now, are we going to get it again round the corner here? It's the same shape. Can it be? No, it's hybrid capacitors. But, doesn't mean it's not round the corner. Oh, conductive ceramics. <laughs> this place is a little gold mine, it really is. Oh, Jesus. Steering is so freaking sensitive. We've only got one more chance to pick up 
after this one. And it's not going to be. Ah. Neil quite didn't get three in a row. So now, if we pick up another one on the next run, can we then do three in a row? That'd be something, to pick up the same item three times in a row. I'm sure I've done it before without realising. Probably high density composites or something like that. Or galvanising alloys. I'm sure I've had those three in a row before. Incoming message. Okay, so high density again. I think that's the third time in a row. Focus crystals, standards ones. Heat exchangers and galvanizing alloys. There you go. Pretty sure we've had those on every run so far. Heat veins. Fuckers crystals. Electrochemical arrays. Yeah. Where were you on the last run? I needed you. Okay, that's one in a row now because it's been reset. Oh, we lost that because it would. Fucking game wouldn't highlight it. Right. Alright, so we've got three out of the ten that we needed. Not three bad at all. I wonder if my rusty account's got enough um, materials to do this build. I probably don't think so. I <laughs> love how that, that item, and it's called a chemical distillery. How can it be? Anyway. Crystal shards. I think I know her. Oh, no. Okay, but there could be one round the corner. This could be one. The yellow box. Oh, conductive ceramics. And there's here in this corner here, it's always this this type it seems to be. Damn. So where are we? Required fifty eight, available thirty seven we have now. As well scan the data point. Incoming message. God, the Python lights aren't doing much. Oh, they'll be turned off, right? Um, yeah, we've only, from that data point there, we've only picked up so far just the one cracked industrial firmware. So if we were relying on this place to pick them up from, poof, we would have been here for a while. I think we would have had to concentrate on that data point and not do the laps. But I'll be honest guys, I don't know how many more of these I can take. I'm getting dizzy going around here now. Uh, 
There's another one. I don't suppose you can give us two now. We've got 40. We need 18. That's not divisible. Oh yeah, it is. Six. We need six more. Yeah, so really, it's not taking that long. And we're hoovering up all the other goodies. Right, so we have one in a row again. Can we get two in a row? I reckon those high density composites are going to be full by the time we uh, finish here. Polymer capacitors. Now, that was either one that we needed or one that we traded earlier. I don't remember which. Yes, electrochemical arrays! We need five and that's two in a row. Oh, there could be another one on the right there, guys. It's possible. It doesn't happen a lot that you get duplicates, but... Ah! Well, when we came here, we needed 10. We've got half of them. And we haven't been here long. The Python's engines are still warm. I mean, yeah, it's repetitive, but it's also lucrative. And, this, and I'll notice it more when, you know, like when I come to build the next ship after the Python. Uh, which might not necessarily be a bigger one than the Python, it might be a smaller ship. But when we come to build it, well, there'll be a lot of materials that we'll have already for it, because we, we came here and did this. So it'll all pay off in the end. Can we get three in a row? Can we do it? Oh, it's the right type. No, you swine! Is this a script you're running to? What about that one? No! See, that's two polymer capacitors there. What was the first one here? Did we just pick up three on this run? I don't know. Grade four, anyway. Oh... Uh, Okay, we still didn't get three in a row. Maybe it's impossible. I think Frontier have this well scripted. I have a Phantom. Well, not on this account, but I do have one on my thing. But uh, I have got one and also turned back. <laughs> turned back to other ships as well. No, I have a Crate Mac 2 and a Phantom. I can't remember what the pan Phantom's for. But what do you what do you use your yours for, though, Hans? I'm happy with a Python for, for what I need this to do. Oh. Come on, get 
give me some encouragement here. Get me, get me another one. Chemical manipulators. That first one we've had of those on on here. Is it? Is it? No. But then we have another chance right here. Right here, boy. No. Oh my god, I actually picked it up. <laughs> I was just about to go back for it. Are we sure I missed it? Didn't get any of the swine flu. Still stuck on 43. Fifteen required, so we need five. If we get five, it'll be the exact amount we need. I'd like to have a bit of a buffer, but at least if we get how many? Oh yeah, Dab's hope is awesome. Incoming message. I'm not paying that much attention to the day trip. I'm honest. You never see my electrochemical arrays as like the first thing you pick up here. Chemical manipulators. Twice in a row now. Okay. Pay attention. Is it? Is it? No, it can't be. It's the wrong type. All right, what about you then? Yay! Electrochemicals. And more chemical manipulators. That's two. We picked up three in two runs, and we've never had any previous to this. So you see, you can't get duplicates. Oh, for fuck's sake. Flawed focus crystals not worth anything. Not worth anything to any man. Oh, so close. Specialized legacy firmware. Legacy firmware that's been specialized for your needs. Call us at this number 212 555 1086 and order your specialized legacy firmware today. My head's getting dizzy, guys. There you go, high density full now, again. Will you pick that thing up? Thank you. Oh, pain behind my left eye. That's too much. It's telling me to get off the screen. I think I'll just do one more lap, guys, and then I'm gonna have to get off because my, my head's telling me to get off. So we'll just do one more lap. And then I'm gonna have to camp out here. Finish this off tomorrow. I won't do it on stream, I'll do it offline and then it'll be done by the time you see me next. We'll have the electrochemicals and Try hunting down the protolites and the core dynamics. Wow, we got three things there, some cool stuff. 
Right, let's do this final lap. Can't pick that up, it's full. See, that's the same box as a electrochemical, but you'd never find one at this point. They're either always round the corner here, or round the next corner. Turned out that was a hybrid capacitor. Is this one? No. It is not. So that's it. We're not going to get any more on this run. Because these two are always the same. It's it's this one that's got that U-shaped lid coming up on top. That's always the same here. And this one mostly like that here, but not always. Right, so we've got 46 and we need 58. So 12 remaining. So we have yeah, four. We need to pick up four. Oh, can I take another run? But then what? What if I pick one up and I'm down to three? Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Incoming message. Need some water. Is it? No. Bugger. How the hell is it managing to tag my ship from here? <laughs> I don't get that. Right, is it? No! That's our two chances gone. That's all we have here. Two, two chances of getting one on our lap. The amount of other stuff that we're picking up is crazy, absolute crazy. It will stand us in good stead for further engineering later on though, and that's something I have to bear in mind here. It'll pay dividends, so I'm not I'd like to get these um, electrochemicals done, but at the same time, for every lap that we don't find any, um, we're not really losing out that much. Configurable, because we know that we know that's coming. We know it's going to happen. We're going to fill up what we need here. We know that. chance oh no not here look no no not here boy wow that was a bust that was not a good run we picked up some junky stuff on that one Come on. We've been like, what is it, th two, three runs maybe without picking one up? First time that's happened. Incoming 
incoming message. I wonder how many of these things that we're picking up here are being used on the Python build. And it's just adding to the inventory that we have on them. That'd be great. The more of that, the better. There's another missed opportunity then for electrochemicals. And another one. It's not here either. Oh dear. That's twice we've not had. Somebody from Frontier is watching the stream and they've they've remotely logged into the servers and messed with it. We lost it, right? It's another bug. Running over an untagged material makes it disappear. Right, we either get one on here and I'll continue. If we don't, I won't. It's up to you, gamey. Your call. You saved your own life. We just picked one up. Now you owe me another one. Disappeared, look. Because you ran over it with the wheel. That's why I never pick them up in that order. Okay, talk to me, because I think we just need three now. Mm. Yep, we need three to have the exact amount needed. And what are these for anyway? Electrochemical arrays are for... Oh, it could be anything. It's it's used for a myriad of different things. I don't know what it is for this build. It might be for... Considering how many are required, it must be getting used more than once. For different modules. Amazing how much you can miss it by and still pick it up. Which is great because it gives you a nice little bit of running around room. Oh, you let me down there, boy. No opportunity here, so this one's a bust. Yeah, that would be great. Adding adding it to the stats. How many times you logged out and logged in again to do it? 
how many visits to Commander Jameson's crash site? How many visits to Beagle Point? One for me. Also went beyond Beagle Point. To the place where Jumponium was required to get there. It's not a good sign when there's not one there. No, wow. Come on, Frontier, stop messing about. I've done enough for you guys. Give me what I want. Yeah, wouldn't it be interesting to know the stats, though? I wonder which stat I would love to know the most. How many Oh, is the one for how many materials gathered? How many materials picked up? Two billion. Oh, how many materials spent on uh, engineering? How many modules bought for ships? How many modules sold? How many trans transferred? How many engineered? How many not? Oh no, I don't know. You could go forever, really. I wonder which one I'd find most interesting to know. It's got to be something around the grind, though, I'm sure. I'd be interested to know how many of this, how many I've done that, how many times this has happened. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know one. They they couldn't tell you this one though. They wouldn't be able to, to log it. How many loop of shames you've done? <laughs> uh, no, I want to hide that from the entire planet. <laughs> I'll be going, that one didn't count. That one didn't count. I didn't go all the way past. Doesn't count. <laughs> How many times you boosted out of the mail slot? There'd be some fun stats, wouldn't they? They could log them. <laughs> How many times you hit the 1% club? Or in my case, one time I hit the 0% club. Maybe twice. No, once I think. Certainly once with the Thargoids. I, I hit 0% on my hull and survived. That was crazy. That was all down to just luck, luck. Timing, yes, a little bit, but mainly luck. Wow. Because as soon as you see your hull's at zero, you think, that's it. The next thing is you're going to hear a crackle sound, a couple of little booms, and then eject, 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 and that's it, and you're gone. How many times the game crashed? How many times you discovered a bug and weren't credited for it? How many times you reported a bug and it wasn't fixed? <laughs> In the next build. Come on, Frontier. We're so close, man. You were doing so well at the beginning. You're slacking off now. Just like your development of the game. Give me some electros. Incoming message. I'm at shops. See you tomorrow. That's the incoming message. Ah. 
Conductive ceramics are fine, they get used a lot, but still. Oh. Conductive components, we're not going to have any luck today. Will it be possible very shortly to finish this? How many laps of dab soap? Wow, yeah. Think about that. I think if if you could do it by how many times you've scanned the, the data point. Because for me, I don't really scan the data point without doing a lap. So I think it would be fairly accurate that if I'd scanned the data point 782 times, that I've done 782 laps. It would be fairly accurate, I think. I don't think I've ever done one without the other before. But I, I could be wrong. But I just don't recall a, it or why I would do that. There could be a time I just scanned the data over and over. Who knows? Wait a minute, electrochemicals are th th grade threes. I'm probably in a position I could trade for them now. I pick, you know, from picking up all the stuff I've picked up, the other stuff I've picked up. I'll have a look and see what it says. No electrochemical arrays. Yeah. I've got 83 polymer capacitors. I could trade three of them and get what I need here. Or I could trade one military supercapacitor, but again, I've only got 12 of those. So yeah, 83 polymer capacitors, which, are we picking those up here as well? Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah, so I could easily do that if I visited a a manufactured uh, material trader. Just trade three of those. Tempting. Very tempting. Incoming message. I haven't recalled. Are we? Is it polymer capacitors we're picking up from here? Some things are named very similar. I just get mixed up with them. If we come across one, well, then we'll know. Ugh. As soon as I see a yellow box, I'm thinking, can it be? See, we can't get one here now. Oh, a yellow box. It was only basic conductors, though. I've never seen a yellow box in that corner that I recall. <sighs> Come on. Can't hold on for much longer. Yeah, SRB distance, that'd be interesting. I haven't looked at that particular stat for a long time. But then again, I've never looked at it on this account. It'd be interesting to see how, how much I've covered just on, on this newish account. Are we feeling lucky? No. Nope. 
not even a yellow box here which means there won't be one round the corner oh there is oh yeah how does the game know what I'm looking for and then why would it want to keep it from me Last time, guys, for sure. El último tiempo. Yep, 100% last run. Even if we pick two up and I only need one, this is my last go. So make it count, buddy. Message. Just notice, of course, it's been resetting the pips every time. Hybrid capacitors there, that's not a good sign. Or is it? Ah, you twat. You got one. If this is another one, I'll, I'll, I'll... Oh. See, it didn't, it didn't target. That one's missing. The one in the corner is missing. What the hell? Oh, we must have... Oh, I know. Because we started there. But we didn't have it targeted, so it flew into hyperspace. So, we need six. So therefore we need two of them. But I'm done. We're going to need two more. I have to leave it there, guys. Getting late. But next time you see me, we'll have it complete. And then we've only got... Well, I'll show you the progress. We've got... If you take out the electrochemical arrays, because we'll have those, then it's just these three down here in this row, this guy, this guy and this guy. Now the core dynamics and the protolites we can get from the high grades. The biotechs we can get from missions. Exquisites. Mission rewards, but also you can get them from dropped ships. Uh, cargo, when they, yeah, when sh ships blow up. But it tends to be big ones. Anacondas and stuff like that. That's going to be a thing, so maybe mission rewards would be good. These ones, high grades as well, proprietary composites. And this one's going to be the swine, I think. Abnormal compact emission data. Let's see if we can figure out a way to get those. And then once we've figured it out, we'll be good. So, thank you guys uh, for your time and your company. And we will be back. It's getting very close to that Python build to be complete. But even then, once you've got all the materials, it's not the end of the story. Because some of the engineering we need to do has to be done with engineers we haven't unlocked yet. So then there's the grind to unlock those guys. So, yeah. And one of them, I think, requires... There was one of the one of the uh, engineers that required us to be dangerous, combat dangerous, which I'm far and away from. But I did find another route through engineers to do it, to find another engineer that would do the same thing or a similar thing. So I think there's a way. Hey, Jamie Valks, how you doing, man? We're just signing off now. Haven't seen you for a while. Nice to see you here. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, maybe catch you on the next one. All right, guys, thank you for that. Uh, Project Python is on its way. And then we'll get it tested and get it used for missions and cool stuff like that. Core Elite Gameplay, I guess you would call it. That's me. I'm out in three and two and one. Bye-bye.